Was Adam 90 feet tall? That's 30 metres. Adam was 60 cubits tall. That's about 90 feet, 30 metres, according to Islam. That is as high as a 9 or 10 storey building. Sahih al-Bukhari 3326, Book 55, Hadith 543. The Prophet said, Allah created Adam, making him 60 cubits tall. When he created him, he said to him, Go and greet that group of angels and listen to their reply, for it will be your greeting and the greeting of your offspring. So Adam said to the angels, As-salamu alaykum, peace be unto you. The angels said, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatu lalahi, peace and Allah's mercy be upon you. Thus, the angels added to Adam's salutation the expression Wa Rahmatu Ilahi. Any person who will enter paradise will resemble Adam in appearance and figure. People have been decreasing in stature since Adam's creation. Sahih al Bukhari, Book 74, Hadith 246. Narrated Abu Huraira the same story. If you are a Muslim, then you are required to believe anything that is in the Quran or is in a Sahih authenticated hadith. There's a problem with this one the square cube law. Adam was 90 feet, a man might be 6 feet. So Adam was 15 times as tall as a man today. His surface area would be 225 times as large and his volume 3,375 times as much. If a man today weighs 80 kilos, Adam weighed 270,000 kilos. That's 270 tons. When you're 15 times as long, then you're 225 times as strong, because strength goes as the cross-sectional area of the limbs. But you are 3,375 times the volume and weight. It's the square cube law. If his legs were 225 times as large in cross-section, they would be unable to support a body that is 3,375 times as heavy. An elephant would be about 6 tons, and they have 4 legs, and they are big legs. A blue whale might be 140 tons, but they're in water, so no problem supporting the weight. Then there's the heat problem. You radiate heat in proportion to your surface area, but you generate it in proportion to your volume. A 60 cubit atom would cook in his own juices. And the food problem. An average man needs 2,500 calories per day. That's about 3 kilograms of potatoes, to put it into human terms. Adam wouldn't have needed 3,375 times as much, 10 tons of potatoes every day. Of course, potatoes weren't known then, so let's look at bread. That would be two loaves for a normal man, or 7,000 loaves for Adam per day. That's two and a half million loaves per year, which would need 27,000 bushels of wheat which needs a thousand acres to grow wheat and one man, even at 60 cubits, would not be able to cultivate 1,000 acres. That would need about 4,000 normal sized men and so, because of the square cube law, about 18 atoms. They didn't have tractors and combine harvesters then, so he wouldn't be able to feed himself. The square cube law again. A 60 cubit man. But did I really need to explain the physics of why this isn't possible? 
Muslims are required to believe this, and they indulge in extraordinary contortions of reality to try to pretend that it's true. If you're a Muslim, you have to believe a lot more than six impossible things before breakfast. And by the way, how tall was Eve? Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to discuss this with me, you'll find me on Facebook in the Religion Discussion Group. See you there!